Now for this next part, what I've done is I've defined my random variable x as being the number of vehicles passing in 10 seconds, where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda. And first of all, what is lambda going to be? Well, if we're looking at a 10 second interval, we're told earlier in the question that 36 vehicles pass per minute. So in 10 seconds, that's going to be one sixth of a minute. So that would be one sixth of 36 vehicles, which is six vehicles. So I'm going to set up my null hypothesis that H0 is that the mean lambda equals one sixth then of 36, which turns out to be equal to six. Now, we've got to establish what the critical value would be if we're testing at the 5% level. So, in other words, we need to have an alternative hypothesis that lambda will be greater than 6. The significance level, alpha, is 5%. And we've got to find that critical value. Let's say that observed value is equal to R. Just to put this in some kind of diagram to show you what is happening, if we had, say, our number line in the usual way, we've got zero down here, and this would represent the number of vehicles passing in 10 seconds. Well, if the mean was six, it could be about here, we would expect some range of values around that six. But we're looking for this critical value, which I'm calling R, where if you exceed it, we are going to reject HO in favor of H1. So we'll just put here, reject HO. And this part here would be accept HO. This is typical kind of diagram that I would draw for something like this. So how do we work out R then? Well, going to write down here that we're going to reject HO if the probability that X is greater than or equal to that critical value, R, given the null hypothesis true, in other words, that the mean lambda is six, turns out to be less than 5%, 0.05. Now, we're going to be using the Poisson cumulative distribution table, so we need to work out with probabilities less than or equal to a given value. So we need to change this. So we can say that, therefore, this is exactly the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to r minus 1, given that lambda equals 6. And that will be less than 0.05. Okay, again, remember that if you've got like probability x is greater than or equal to say 12, this would be the same as one minus probability x being less than or equal to 11. So you're gonna to need to take one off this value here of r. Now we can rearrange this inequality and if we add this probability to both sides and take 0.05 from both sides, we therefore have that the probability that x is less than or equal to r minus one, given that lambda equals six, has to be greater than 0.95, one minus 0.05, okay? Now we need to look in some tables, the commutative plus on distribution tables. And I've got an extract of that table. We take lambda, we look under the six, and we're looking for a value that is just greater than 0.95. And when we look down this column here, we see that that value is 0.9574. And this column here, would represent your x values, so x would be 10. So we can say that from tables, okay, from tables, 
r minus 1 must be the 10. So we've got r minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 10. And obviously if we add 1 to both sides, r must be greater than or equal to 11. So therefore the smallest number of vehicles has to be 11. Okay, just put that vehicles equals 11. So if the traffic officer sees 11 or more vehicles passing in a 10 second interval, then that traffic officer is going to have to implement speed restrictions. Okay?